Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are here today with Datuk Sheikh Hussein Yi for a short tazkirah or shall we call it reminders. And today we will be focusing on the silent struggle which is battling depressions within our own minds among youth. Right now we shall begin uh, with Datuk Sheikh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, hamdan kathiran tayyiban barakan fi. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma ba'du. To all our dear brothers and sisters, the viewer, wherever you are, with me today, my moderator, Brother Ang, it's very important for us to understand the reality of life. People are sharing with us about their experiences, about the depression, the anxiety they are having today. But according to the teaching of Islam, Allah the Creator, who knows everything, who sees everything, have alert and informed us about what is going to happen to all of us. He have all the knowledge. The problem is we don't have the knowledge. We don't have the understanding at all. And sometimes we are not prepared. Example in Surah Al-Baqarah, the second chapter, Allah said, بَعْدَ أَعْنُزْ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَلَا نَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِنَ خَوْفِ وَالْجُعْ وَالنَّقْسُ مِنَ أَمْوَالِ وَأَنْفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ I'm going to test all of you. Allah is telling us. He is sure to test us, to expose every one of us to these few things in life. Fear, number one. Kauf, juk, hunger. The loss of job, the loss of money. Yeah? All whatever that we love is getting yeah, lesser and lesser from time to time. Even the loss of life, our loved one. Now, at the end of the day, Allah said, وَبَحْشِرِ الصَّابِرِينَ Glad tiding, good news. For who? For those who have patience. Patience is not just, just do nothing. And asking Allah for this and you just do what you are able to do. And then have faith that life move on. Whatever happens sometimes is a reminder from Allah. That this is going to happen, worse is going to come. So you get yourself prepared. So when you are prepared for any problem in life, you will never face depression. Inshallah, inshallah. Yes, because you are ready. You know this is coming, that is coming again. You know, it's just like, you know, COVID is coming, so you prepare yourself, you know. That's why in Islam, the Islamic terms, the prevention is always better than cure. People have all this problem, depression, anxiety, because they take life for granted. Suddenly, this thing happened, caught them by surprise. They don't know what to do. Even we don't know what to do, still there's a lot of scholars around you. Get close to the scholars. When you are negative, get close to people who are positive. When you don't have the knowledge of how to overcome problem, you don't just keep quiet. You just have to move yourself and get advice. Inshallah, you get the wrong, the right advice. You know, the right advice must come from Allah, the Creator, and our Prophet Sallallahu Then you see, all the things that you feel that is a problem, is no more a problem. Or it's just part of life. You just have to move on, have faith in Allah, and try your level best to do whatever you can. Inshallah. But if you keep on entertaining problem, Without finding the way to move forward, the answer, of course, when you're alone, especially, depression will come more and more. So Just have to get out from the environment and mix around with the righteous people. And you'll see there's a lot of wisdom behind that. Allah also promises This is a promise from the Creator who sees and knows everything. So why can't we just have that faith, O oh Allah, now I'm going to have taqwa to you. That means I'm going to have faith and be connected to you. I want to believe in you, O oh Allah. 
How do I show that I believe in Allah? Whatever Allah want me to do, I will do. Whatever Allah says is going to ha- is going to happen. That's how I should believe in Allah's uh, what you call predestination and takdir. Then Allah said, I will show you ways to overcome your problem. You have to go back to God. Then you find a way. And I will provide for you. Allahu Akbar. And this is the area that we want all our young generation to understand. Because sometimes we thought that we know better. We think human can help. Sometimes they think human can help us. Nobody can help us. Except Almighty Allah. So we just have to humble ourselves. Stay connected to Allah. Be close to Him. Then you see, inshallah, all the depression and anxiety that you are facing will start to ease. In the mar usri yusra, when there is a difficulty here and there, there's always some ease waiting for you. Subhanallah. You just have to look for it. Inshallah. That will be my answer. Subhanallah. I feel uh, jazakallah khair, Sheikh, and I feel so assured to have Islam as my religion. It is such a strong pillar for all of us, where we tend to always overlook it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, going back to uh, what you've mentioned uh, uh, among our youth today that could lead to them being depressed, there are so many angles. Yeah. Okay. However, we believe that Islam is here to guide them through. Of course, through no doubts. Till the end of time. Of course. Inshallah. Shall we narrow down to okay. a more specific question? Okay. Okay. Firstly, with everything that's going on in the world, you know, news, they travel so fast. Mm. And right now, at this moment, our younger generation, our youth are exposed to so many things no. that previously, when we, I was younger, when you were younger, we wouldn't know what is happening across the world. So this brings to social media influence yeah. and comparisons yeah. from what they see in Instagram, in Facebook, in TikTok. So I believe that with, with everything that they're exposed to and they constantly compare themselves to what they always see, which are the only good parts that people are showing. Because it is rarely that people will show their worst parts or their down moments. However, the ones viewing will always see, ah, how I wish to only be like that. How I wish to only have what they have. Their life is so good. So, Shay, may I please kindly ask, uh, what could you say about that for those that keep comparing and they feel so down and depressed by it? Yeah. We know what is happening to the younger generation because of the technology that we are having today. It can be used for good and it could cause harm to all of us. Social media sometimes is just a big rubbish bin. And it's like a toilet, everything is there. You know, even they thought how good, how, how successful, you don't know whether it's true or not. What we as a Muslim must be very grateful to Allah, we have our own media. <laughs> the media is from Allah. What Allah said is sure to be 100% true about the past, lesson learned, so that you prepare for now and then about the future. So you can, you cannot stop them from entertaining the social media, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. You cannot stop anymore. It's there already. See, but how do you filter it? Mm-hmm. That is Filter. important. Filtering is important. Okay. It can come, but you just listen, you know it don't benefit you, ignore it. If anytime you want to compare with what other people is sharing about their success, you know, their their challenges and so on, we don't know it's real or not. Correct. This all is just lip service. Correct. Yeah. Sometimes it may be real, but what is important, you see how our Prophet who was sent by Allah with all the wisdom is reminding us again. This is like a Tazkira reminder. The Prophet reminded us by saying, if you want to compare at any time in your life, you want to compare with somebody, you always compare people who are 
lesser fortunate who are poorer than you, lesser than you, don't compare with people who are higher up than you. Why? Then you will become more grateful. Oh, Alhamdulillah, I'm not that bad. Exactly. If I compare people who are lesser than me, worse than me, oh, I'm okay. Correct. You know, but if I try to compare people who are higher, we don't know. Even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remind us, Yawman la yan fa'wala banun. Remember, they will come, your well, your children cannot benefit you. The only thing that really can help you to move forward, to face the reality, is your faith and your submission to Allah. Illa man atallah bi qalbin salim, Allah said. Except those who submit their heart. To Almighty Allah, the All-Knowing, the Creator, the All-Seeing. So that is how we should prepare ourselves. Yeah. You want to compare, fair enough. But always compare with people who are lesser, who are worse than you. Right. Then you will never be ungrateful. Right. The guidance is there. But what I'm trying to remind myself and all the young uh, brothers and sisters, wherever you are, Please, any problem you encounter, whatever media that you are exposed to, always filter with the Quran and the Sunnah, the authentic Sunnah. Farudhu ilallah wa Rasul. Allah said, "You have any problem? Go back to my guidance, the Quran, unaltered, uncorrupted, pure, and it's from Allah, the Creator, and the teaching of my." Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, you will solve all your problems. The big one becomes small. Inshallah, you must have that faith. Now, how many young people today read the Quran and understand Quran? How many of them refer to the media that talk about Allah and the Prophet? See, only these two will save us from a lot of problems. Because Allah has promised us, "Farudu ilallah wa rasul." The Prophet said, "If you hold to these two, nothing can corrupt you. Nothing can mislead you anymore." So we know, we know the social media. We also exposed to social media. We get very tired sometimes if you want to entertain, and we do not know the reality of this social media is just hearsay. They say here, so we just listen, no problem. But don't. Just believe, filter it. How do you filter with the Quran and Sunnah? You see, and then if you are weak, you must move yourself to a good environment. Get close to the righteous people. Think that you are confused, just ask them. Inshallah, you'll find the answer that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has shown us in the Quran and the Hadis of our Beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Inshallah. No. Alhamdulillah. As you all have heard from Sheikh, always uh, refer back to the Quran and the Sunnah. And if any of you ever had trouble understanding, you know where to find. It is here at Al Khadim, where we have our Asatiza to help you to understand better. Okay. Um, so Sheikh, tying up to that. So when comparison is one thing, it's it's uh, one angle from it. Another angle would be most few people they feel um, they 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 initially started this thing as a hobby or just for fun to showcase what they can offer. Maybe I am good at drawing, I'll show what I can draw. Maybe I am good at uh, building something, I'll show what I can build. It started off as a hobby, but then slowly they realized that ah, oh, I could make money from this. Okay. And some youngsters do not have the, not to say do not have the aspirations, but you can see the numbers of people wanting to be the big four. I call it doctors, lawyers, engineers, accountants. You see, they don't look at that anymore. They, I want to be an influencer. I want to be famous. You see, you know, if I can make money doing what I like, you know, so so this could help them. Relieve their financial stress, you see. And with uh, recently MCO, most people do not have jobs, and they feel that this is one thing that can give them a stable income. Yeah. But 
even so, when you, when like you've mentioned, uh, Shay, when you've make, you make you make this as your work, then you are open to all this comparison and everything else. Okay, what would you say to youngsters who would like to become this social media influencers as, uh, as their full time job? Allahu Akbar. We know what is happening to the mind of the young generation. Everybody wants to be famous, popular, you know. It's nothing wrong. You know, it's nothing wrong. But you must prepare yourself. You know, this is not the real life. It is just for a while. You feel good. After some time, the people who will be better than you will come appear and you'll be left behind. Nobody is there on the top always. Mm. Correct. But what is important in life is you must be contented with whatever you can do, whatever you have. You can move forward, there's nothing wrong. But if you fail, are you going to be depressed because of that? Some other people, Alhamdulillah, they got through. But now mean that everybody will have the same kind of result in, of what they are doing. You can try your best. But if it Help you, Alhamdulillah. But always remember whatever you do, please make sure that it benefits you as an individual. It's not something that you're trying to portray that is not correct, or you're trying to lie, or you're trying to corrupt other people's mm. mind. No. You are ready to share with anybody what God has given you and be grateful and be thankful. No problem. I, I never stop anybody who want to be rich, to be progressive. Mm -mm. Yeah, Do it. Do whatever you can. Mm -mm. But don't forget the borderline. What is halal, halal. What is haram, is haram. So haram. That's very don't cross that. Mm -mm. Okay. Because sometimes, because you want to be famous, you are not telling the truth, the whole truth. You are lying to somebody. So it's not good to lie. One day, people will know that you are lying. Correct. correct. Like, alas, people don't believe in you anymore. Correct. So just be truthful and be always right, doing the right thing, say the right word at the right time, the right place. Correct. All this is very important. And be among the right people. Then you see everything will move very smoothly. I've seen people very successful. They become very rich. They can have big car, branded car, all branded, branded, but they are not happy. Because that is not yeah, the real happiness. This is just material. It comes and goes. The more you have, if suddenly it's no more with you, you suffer more. But if you move yeah, gradually, try your best, Try to do whatever work that can bring income to you to make you comfortable in life. There's nothing wrong. But don't try to create something yeah, that is not real. And try to give uh, false hope to other people. Um, you know? What is right is right. Important is if you look at the teaching in Islam, is that moderation is the best. The middle way. The middle path. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Wasatiya, yeah. is it? Alhamdulillah. 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 As, as you've mentioned, Sheikh, correct. Um, people often fail to realize that they can go up so fast, that means they will bound to yeah. fall very fast as yeah. well, Sheikh. Exactly. And all of this that they are doing, it's only for the temporary world before we move on. Correct. Fahim. But also, it's important to understand that if you can get everything, whatever you really want. Mm -mm. But don't abandon everything. Try your level mm. best to do what you can. In life, in Islamic principle, the Islamic guidelines said, La yukallif Allahu nafsan illa wus'a. Allah Himself said to us that He has no intention to burden us with anything that you can't do. Just do what you can. And be happy. Then you will see, inshallah. But whatever you can do, even a bit, but be consistent. Mm -hmm. It's always beneficial and it brings more good results than people who 
they like there's a word hang hang ati ayam the Malay used to say hang hang ati ayam oh suddenly you become so uh, just momentarily yeah I know so, so uh, motivated to do so many things then after some time the burnout. then you burn out correct so everything be moderate and also please be humble mm. seek the elderly advice always do that in life because experience in life is important. We have more knowledge because we are exposed to all this technology information now. But experience-wise, we may not have a lot of experience. So the elders have a lot of experiences. Seek their advice, share with them, ask them. I believe that the simple way to solve all your problem, overcome your anxiety, depression, is to ask. Mm -hmm. Don't keep it to yourself and try to yeah, think and find your own way where you are stuck. Just mm -hmm. go out. Right. If you are not aware what to do, seek, yeah. seek, advice. Advice. seek advice. Whether you're going to take you know, right. traditional alternative I see. Uh, medicine, medicine or... or you go for a normal conventional medicine. But you right. must, must Look yeah. for something. You cannot simply take medicine as ah, well. You just cannot get poisoned. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> then uh, you get more uh, problem. Correct. You see, ask people who knows when you don't know. Correct. But don't keep it to yourself. There is the the the, the sunnah to law. Thing people do not know, just ask. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there was no issue. It's a small matter, but to you it's big because it's something new to you, and we are very young. Right. So we thought that wow. How can we solve this? But this so minor for yeah. other people. Exactly. That's why you see sometimes think there's no issue, some other people make it a big issue. You see? When the big issue, they forgot. You know? Because, because they don't have that understanding. So inshallah, I believe if any of the younger gender having any problem, please don't forget. Like what you said earlier, help me out that. We have Al Qadim here, is here to serve, to help whoever needs our help. Inshallah, when we are open for this, your mind is open, your heart is open, Allah will make it easy. Ameen, ameen. I see, Shay. So that is the thing that uh, I find Islam to be very, very simple yet comprehensive on how yeah. it ties things up, Allah. how you build small habits which is the essence of being uh, istiqamah, they Correct. call it in Islam, exactly. And I like how you say uh, we must consult the elders, no. for they have more experience than they've been through so much. Yeah. You know, some youngsters nowadays, they might think that ah, times have changed, um, you know, um, you know they, they won't know what we are facing now. But in essence, right, Sheh? The experiences of feelings are the same. Correct. Correct. Uh, and I believe, Shay, you can uh, resonate together. Uh, we, are, we are both uh, from Penang, we speak Hokkien. So, Hokkien, there's this one word called Tia Yam Che Kui Lu Tia Bi, which is correct, Shay? Correct. Yeah. In Malay, also have uh, that proverb. Uh, that proverb, correct, Shay? Kita makan gara lebih dari makan nasi. Correct. It means our elders been through so much, they had more salt they, 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 than you've had rice in your life. You see, so subhanallah. And advice from two, seeking elders, uh, you know, advice, it won't harm you one bit. But okay. sometimes I, I remember when we have a discussion among other group of people, not in Malaysia, overseas. Mm -hmm. Interesting that they share with me about the younger generation do not want the oldies to be around anymore, to get involved in their life. Why? They thought that by seeking advice, they will keep on stopping you from doing what you want to do. Like a barrier. Like a barrier. They were here to stop you. Oh, cannot, cannot, more cannot than do. You see? Yeah, sometimes if you get the wrong kind of elderly people, and that is what they will advise you. Yes. But what they say may have some truth, not the whole truth. Mm -mm. They just want you to be alert. Correct, they are protective. Uh, be careful. Mm -hmm. 
Because sometimes the situation today is that there's no limit. Anything everybody want to do, want to say anything, they can do. But everything, there's a limit. Exactly. That limit is important for us to understand Correct. to what extent. Correct. You see, even you want to eat, there's a limit, a time to stop. Exactly. Don't overeat. You know? exactly. exactly. Even you do exercise, stop. Uh, don't uh, exert yourself to the extent now you injure yourself. Okay. Everything, there's a limit. Correct. So I understand some young generation, the young people, who express their feeling, you know, very difficult when talk to their elders, they're always very discouraging, you know. Mm. They don't motivate us, uh, they always say, no, don't do this, don't do that, so enough. We don't all the no no oh, answer. Yeah. Of course, the elderly people also is divide in the many groups. Some who are very wise, who have very right. good knowledge, right. then they are going to help you. Mm -hmm. But some may not have that. So they will just warn you. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Oh be careful, be careful, be careful. Yeah. So that you dare not even move forward sometimes. That is not good. We hope you ask the elders who have the knowledge. Knowledge, they know what exactly. Yeah, not just exactly. any elders. Correct, correct. You know, it's just like sometimes you saw the elders, you want to hey, become imam. Not el any elderly people can be imam. Exactly. They may not have the knowledge. <laughs> exactly, you see, exactly. Maybe the younger one have more knowledge than them. Uh -huh. Not the age that count, not everything age correct. count. No, sometimes correct. it's knowledge is for the seeker, nothing to do with age. Mm -mm. Knowledge is for the seeker. Mm -mm. I think today the world have made knowledge so accessible that everybody can just seek knowledge if they want. Mm -hmm. But the younger generation, to my experience, they hardly go into that area, mm -hmm. seeking knowledge from scholars. Mm -hmm. They hardly go into that side. They always go into the other area. Mm -hmm. We are a lot of confusion exactly. and uh, a lot of hearsay. Right. We don't know. They confuse themselves more. Yeah, we don't know right. what is right and what is wrong. Mm -mm. Sometimes what is right, it turned out to be wrong. What is wrong, turned out to be right. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So that's why it's very important for us to get the right advice, the right information. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. Don't worry, we are here. May Allah uh, give us the energy and the life. Inshallah, we try our best Inshallah. to help whoever needs our help. Inshallah. Inshallah. Now. That's why we call ourselves Al Khadim. Yeah, Sub Khadim to serve. Subhanallah. Whoever needs any help, just don't forget to come, contact us. Inshallah, we we'll try our best and we we'll pray, may Allah subhanahu wa help all of us. Amin, amin, Shaykh. Yeah. Okay, as you mentioned, uh, limits and barriers, I feel that they are important. Sometimes, not just, it's not just that elders do not let us do anything we want. They do, they do. Yeah. And um, you cannot deny that they do have that sense of care and love for us. They just want to protect us. Yeah. It's not to stop you completely if you know everything that, something that, is, that doesn't make sense or, you know, it's like you jumping off a cliff and then uh, you know that is indeed not right. The elders will definitely stop you. But in most cases, they will just want to make sure that you do not hit a wall. You see, correct, Shay. Correct, yeah. So uh, that is why, as uh, Dato Shay mentioned, uh, limits and barriers are essential. So let me give you an example, which brings us to our next question. Mm. When you act without limits, when you put yourself out there in the social media world, you are out there for everyone to see. Correct. Okay. Some may support you and some may go against you. Correct. Okay. Those that support you, you know, Alhamdulillah, you feel good. Okay. Hopefully it, it makes you more humble, but not, not to be more arrogant. Okay. Yeah. But most of the time nowadays, right, Shay, very sad, you get more negative comments yeah. than positive comments. Yeah which leads to cyberbullying mm. and online harassment. Correct. Saying that you're not good, you know, this is not right, that is not right, why is your face like this, why are you dressed like this? <laughs> All that, that will affect your mental health and, you know, in a, you've never even met these people in real life, but you let it affect you mentally and you, once it affects you mentally, it affects you at home, it affects you at work, it affects you so many places with your friends, with your family. Right, correction. Yeah, yeah, of course. Exactly, Shay. So, what advice 
could you give to to all these people that are facing this kind of struggle? Yeah, whoever want to expose themselves to the public mm -hmm. in the social media is mm -hmm. for the public today. Mm -hmm. Please be alert and be ready mm -hmm. because there are three group of people you encounter: mm -hmm. the good, the bad, the ugly. Subhanallah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. You see, not everybody will. Uh, I mean, will support you or agree with you. Some may support you, agree. Some may criticize you. They are more evil eye, you know. They just don't like you Correct. to be there sometimes. Correct. Who is this guy? You know? What is he talking? You know. Correct. So they may attack you for left and right. So if you are ready to face all these problems, then go and see. But you must be strong. But as long as you, even then, you must make sure you speak what is right. Mm. You only say what is right, you do what is right. Anything that you want to expose to the public, always make sure you expose what is right and what is positive. Even then, people may criticize you. You see, because the bad guy will look from a different angle. No. And the ugly one, only God know. But you must always be ready for that. So I give you one simple example about the elders and the younger one. If I'm talking to the children, my children, example, or my grandchildren, or all the young children, yeah, from 15 downward, yeah, who like to play, mm. who don't like to play, exactly. children are very active, exactly. especially those below 10 are more right. active. They like to jump here, climb here, do this, right. do that. Do they aware about the danger? They don't know. Exactly, they're just full of energy. Full of energy, they mm -hmm. want to do, they want to run, they want to jump, you know. But then we adult know. Mm -hmm. So what should we do? Just leave it like that. Uh... So we have to keep on reminding them. Okay, children, example. Where do you like to go and play? I like to play in the playground. Mm -hmm. Okay. We like you to go and play. Mm -hmm. Now before you go and play, what should you do? They don't know. You only see that equipment is there, and the swing is there, okay. you know, some kind of, uh, of, of uh, exercise equipment is there. Mm -mm. They thought that they just use it, it's okay, but they do not know how to use it sometimes. Correct, correct. So normally I said now, before you want to jump and run around this area, first thing, if possible, you just send your group, go around the area mm -mm. and look at the floor. Whether there's some you know, sharp exactly, object, exactly. broken glasses, thorns. Exactly. If there is, pick it up first. Correct. Throw in the safe lane. Now you know the ground that you are going to play is safe. Mm -mm. It won't injure you because you right. don't have all these broken glasses, nails, and so on. Correct. But normally people don't look into that. Correct. You see? So what is going to happen? You start to jump, boom, there's a broken glass waiting for you. Oh, you cut your feet. Correct. Who is going to suffer? Correct. But if you will just, you know, check be alert, place. check Correct. the place, alert them. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong for you to play, it's good. Correct. But then you must look at the place first that you want to play. Mm -hmm. Is it safe for you? When you feel safe, and the adult also have to look into that too. Mm -mm. When you want to bring the children, to play in the playground, make sure that first thing you do is check the ground. Correct. Correct. Is everything okay? Okay. And then it saves you from a lot of problems. Exactly. You know? That's Correct. why they say prevention is better than Thank cure. You. Correct. Correct. Even when the children want to play swing, you must remember. Mm -mm. Anything can happen, accident can happen, it happens so fast. Correct. Then everybody regret. Exactly. So that's why. Whatever we want to do, we must be aware about the environment that we want to get involved in. Mm. So that we all will enjoy playing Correct. and you are safe, you are happy, nobody get injured. Correct. Just an example. Correct. SubhanAllah, Sheikh. SubhanAllah. Exactly. So, based on what Sheikh said, okay, such insightful um, advices for us that could be carried down, not just that could be applied, not just here, but also for generations to come. You know, circumstances might change, but experiences will always be the same. Uh, correct, Shay? Correct, yes. Exactly. So as such, 
we would like to thank Sheikh and You're may welcome. Allah put barakah in everything that you do, Sheikh. I mean, I mean. For, for generations to come. I mean. And uh, let's wrap this up until we meet again. Okay. Shall we end with the Tasbih Kifara? Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha ila anta. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilai. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah.